I'm Jared Singh. You might recognize me from such videos as Fake Aoki or Getting Kicked in the Face by a Little Girl or uh, that one Asian guy from Survivor. But in my spare time, I like to take photos. And right now, I'm very excited to have the Canon. Ah! Canon! So, I'm super excited to have the Canon EOS R5 in my hands. It's a very exciting time because this camera could be the one that I've been waiting for for a long time. Normally I'm shooting with a 5D, but the R5 has a few crazy features that I'm going to test out today. The first thing I'm excited about is the video, the epic video capabilities. This has 8K RAW and also 4K at 120 frames. And that's pretty game changing for me. I'm always shooting video and photo at the same time. You know, clients are always like, oh, why can't you shoot photo and video at the same time? As if it's so easy. Now maybe it's a little easier because I can do a lot of video work on this thing. I'm testing out the 8K video right now. Totally handheld. Hopefully the quality is so crazy that I can crop right in to Brie at the moment and not lose any detail. Just got off a few shots, it was super fun. Something that came in handy was the burst frame speed, don't know what you call it, but uh, when the waves are coming and I was frantically trying to capture that, the speed at which it was going was crazy. <laughs> Ooh, don't know if you heard that. <laughs> Anyway, that's a technical term, I'm pretty sure if you look up in the manual. Anyway, that was good, that was a good feature, um, whatever it's called. So, it's holding up, I really love shooting with this camera. We've got another location that we want to test out. Ah, let's go! So we're here now at Castle Rock, the light has disappeared. Um, we were talking a little bit too much. Apparently, there was a perfectly good uh, footpath we could have used uh, instead of traversing over the rocks for f half an hour. It's not that far. I mean, it's, you know? Uh, it's only like this entire beach and all the things we can't see <laughs> beyond that. Anyway, light's gone, but you know what? It was on purpose because now I can test out the image stabilization on this camera. I'm gonna get to the top of that. No one else here wants to join me for some reason, so I'm going to go alone because we don't have a lot of light. Um, but hopefully with stabilization, I'll be able to push the shutter a bit more, get the slower shutter in, soak in the light without a blurry image. That's the plan. All right, I've set up. The sun has pretty much all gone. It's really dark. I'm shooting on. 7200, which is um, uh, not the easiest kind of <laughs> focal range to handhold and keep steady at the kind of shutter speeds I am, which is like half a second. I'm going to try get a shot of Brie down here and hopefully keep her really sharp and the rocks really sharp, but get a bit of motion blur when the waves come in. Okay, so this is actually pretty insane. I'm shooting at a second handheld. Wow. I can't believe that I'm actually able to get this sharp image handheld at 100 mils at a second long shutter. Really impressive. Okay, we've decided to go out of the wind into this new setting. This is one of my favorite places to shoot in Fremantle. So I've chosen this particular location to test out the AF tracking. There's not a lot of light and there's a lot of textures going on. So this will really test whether the camera will handle the tracking and it looks like it is. Wow, pretty insane. It's keeping up with you, even in this low light. 
and come closer to me and spin. Nice. 